one of the best, if not the best, twin sheave pulley on the market at the moment. Hello. Hello and welcome to climbingarbus.com. In this video, I'm going to show you about the Petzl twin release pulley and why this pulley is so much better than most of the pulleys of this type on the market at the moment. Petzl have really engineered this thing to be exactly what you want it to be, to give you every little benefit, efficiency, everything about what you would use one of these pulleys for and why this one is so much better. I'll give you a really good in-depth overview of all the just extra little pieces that they've added to this to make it one of the best, if not the best, twin sheave pulley on the market at the moment. And at the end, I'll actually give you a little bit of bonus information about why in rope access and rope rescue, this is typically used as a four to one mechanical advantage, but in tree work, we would predominantly use it as a five to one system. So I'll give you that bit of information after we've covered the Petzl twin release pulley. Let's take a look. All right, so the Petzl twin release, this is this section here, this double sheave pulley here. Um, it does go together with the Spin L2, which is, it's all part of the, the range of pulleys that Petzl have come out with over the last um, couple of years you've got the spin l1 spin l2 spin l1d which i absolutely love and now you've got the petzl twin release which actually incorporates um, some of the same parts of the, the spin l1d which is phenomenal this pulley is designed to be part of this um, mechanical advantage set up, setup let's start with the um, the rotating um, connection point at the top so all of these new petzl pulleys that are part of the same line of pulleys all have that swivel on the top which just makes it perfect for orientating the system uh, to the best the, the best orientation that you want it so that's a really nice little feature all of these petzl pulleys this line of pulleys have this this opening system um, so you can open up the side plate of both of these. They have that red indicator there. So you have to pull down on the lever, push up the red indicator, and then you can swivel and place your rope inside. So obviously you don't have to disconnect um, from the connection point up top to install the rope. You can install it once it's all connected up, which just makes setup a little easier. On this side with the black um, side plate, is just a regular pulley but then on this gold side it has that faceted sheave just like the one that you get in the Petzl Spin L1D which is basically it's a one directional pulley so it locks out in one direction and it spins in the other you'll know if you've seen the the, the video that I did on the Petzl Spin L1D uh, I absolutely love that pulley, it is phenomenal. And the friction that it gives you when it, uh, it locks out and then the, the friction that this faceted sheave also gives you is you wouldn't believe like the extra friction and how useful that is. The reason that they've done that on this is for partly for like part of the progress capture system. So it takes way less effort to hold a load because of the extra friction added. So without, without the progress ca capture system, which is this cam here, um, even without that, it takes li very little effort to hold a load, dep obviously depending on the weight. So Petzl have put a nice little diagram in here so you can see where the, the tail end of the rope needs to be to be held and where the load needs to be. And these arrows show the direction that this sheave spins in. So for progress capture, you've got the faceted sheave and the one-way rotating pulley. Then next you have this cam, which can be locked open or it can be closed. So now, as you use the system and haul it towards you or haul it up, whatever you're using it for, that cam is going to capture the progress and prevent it uh, slipping back. There's a lever on this side and the lever opens up the cam. So the, the Petzl say that the lever is not to 
um, control lowering like on the Petzl ID or Petzl rig. It's not designed for that. It's just designed to open the cam and then capture the progress by, release, uh, by letting go of the, the lever. So if you take a look at the cam, you'll see it's not a tooth cam. It's quite a smooth cam. So there are a couple of options for releasing the cam under load. If it's not a heavy load, you can just take the weight in your hand and release the cam while pulling down on the rope and then pin it open. Or if it is quite a heavy load, wrap the rope around the bollard and then you can use a lever which opens the cam like so. So as well as the friction you have of the facet to achieve, you'll also take a full wrap around this bollard here, which gives you so much more friction and allows you to control the, um, the lowering of a load. So let's put a load on here um, so I can explain that a little bit more. So let me put that back in, lock that side plate and make sure you hear that click. So let's raise, raise this weight that I've got so you'll see that's without the progress capture and then click that there's a little gold button press that button in and that locks it out to lock this this cam open just kind of start to raise it and then push that cam in and and it will lock out at the top there push that button in again and the cam will be engaged. Now you've captured the progress, you can now place the rope around the bollard. So Petzl have designed this so you can use your left hand and the thumb of your left hand and then still be holding the rope with with both hands. To So you're slowly, you're releasing the the cam and you're able to lower the load using that bollard. Let's take a look at the specs of this pulley. The pulley can take a rope diameter from ropes ranging from 8 to 13 millimeters. Um, you'll see here it says rope grab, so it means that NFPA have approved this as a rope grab from only 10 to 13 millimeters. It's got a minimum break strength of 36 kilonewtons with a working load limit of 2.8 kilonewtons. So that's the Petzl twin release. So many clever little additions to this uh, double sheath pulley. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I was gonna give you a little um, explanation of why rope rescue and rope access people use this as a four to one and in tree work we're pre predominantly using it as a five to one. So the reason for that is when the um, technical rope rescue people are using this, they're usually hauling things up to a certain point. So it will be attached to a fixed anchor. So this is where the rope is terminated. You see on the eye there, the rope is terminated at this side and they'll be lifting a load towards them, towards uh, the, the twin release side. So that makes it a four to one. Say we're using it to pull over a tree. Um, this side will be at the, at the load side so that if if it's terminated at the load side and you're pulling the load towards you, so the load is moving in the uh, mechanical advantage system, that then makes this a five to one. If where the, f the rope is terminated is fixed and the load is on the other set of pulleys, then that is a four to one. If the end where the rope is terminated is on the load side, then that's a five to one. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this Petzl twin release as much as I do. I absolutely love this. And if you're in the market for creating your own mechanical advantage pre setup system, four to one, five to one, um, then you're in luck because I would get this thing. It is absolutely incredible. I love this thing. So clever, well designed, and well engineered. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please share it with a friend that also might find it useful. If you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. And if you want to see some more videos that have some really cool techniques, then check out these two videos. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.